Hey, Floss Tube. Joan, Queen of Quite a Lot. Today is Friday, August 11th. Um, I want to try to really quickly get one of these done. I got stitching buds coming over in a little bit, but I wanted to do a really quick one to kind of talk about um, my retreat we had here at my house. Um, three of my stitching cronies come. We've done this retreat for 11 years or so. So we had it last week. We stitched Tuesday through Friday. And then I wanted to talk about the fair because the fair was last week. The county fair was last week. And then show you a couple things I finished. And I think that's about it. So let's get started we'll talk about my fair winnings i took i believe it was nine things into the fair and i got a ribbon on on everything i'll start people who follow me on instagram will have seen this um so here i've showed these before these are a lila studio um flip-flops I'm trying to think right offhand. Barefoot Summer, I think they're, the pattern is called. Anyway, Lila Studio. Um, finish these off into these cute little flip-flops. This was not my idea. This is how her pattern is. She walks you through how to, how to finish them off. So I won first place and a grand champion. So... I was kind of happy about that. So that was my first, that was my biggest win. My second first place um, was my Frac, whoops, sorry, Fractar Friends. I um, believe this is Plum Street Samplers. Got a first place on that. I was happy about that. And all of these things you've seen before, so you're going to see them again. My third first place was, I've got to say, Queen, Annie B's Folk Art. Here's my little ribbon. So there was my first place pieces. My next, my second place winnings were this little piece stitch so I don't kill people so there was my a second place win um, my little cross stitch nation um, let's go like this start this way and rotate it this way this one a second place I think I might put Chanel on the or chenille, however you pronounce that, up on the top of this because you can kind of see like the stitches look like they want to give way. Although I don't think they will because I did fray check them. Um, I, I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet if I'm going to do the chenille or if I um, put, you know, X's on the outside. But I am going to tweak that a little bit because most of these things that I had in the county fair, I'm going to take over to, I'm going to take to the to the state fair I think next week another um, second place was my cardinal points I believe this is long dog sampler um, long dog sampler um, again I framed this myself and I, of course I got my frame from thrift store in fact all the frames I've showed so far have been thrift store finds. This little box, Manny D. Donna, um, Patriotic, I don't know if that's what's called, Patriotic Days, yeah. That one too, we got a second place, got a second place on it, which I'm happy. That was fine. Uh, my last Second place winner was 
Um, my Jean Farish ABC Christmas stocking. A big project that took me like 20 years because it sat for a very long time. So that was my other, my last second place. And then I had one, this I, and I entered this, and this little boy, he just, or she just got a third place, which is fine. But I thought it was dang cute. I thought it was worth more than third place. But anyway, so I'm happy with all of my, all of my wings. I meant to drag out last year, I, did win a grand champion at the county fair too for um, heartstring samplery. It's the it's a needle roll. It was a club piece from I believe dying to stitch, um, and it's out now. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. But it anyway, that was last year. Um. So then the other thing I want to talk about is retreat. So retreat started on Tuesday, and we always, one of our gals couldn't come until until Wednesday, so we always give goodies. So Wednesday we started off our retreat with goodies. So the first set of goodies, um, my girlfriend Lori, I made this bag, but she purchased... I don't know if you can see that really well, and I can't see right now if you what you're seeing. Um, but it says stitch, so I made this vinyl pet pet vinyl weed bag. So there was that, and then inside was this hand towel or this a dish towel, I guess it is, itching to be stitching. Very appropriate. Oh. I guess I should have told you that. Our theme this year was for the love of needlework. We have a theme every year. Last year, I believe it was birdhouses, and we've had flip flops was one. Um, we had um, patriotic. We've had flamingos. So anyway, this year was for the love of needlework. So. You will see a little theme there. We got that. She got us these little stickers. Because we all have a garbage can. And then we put stickers on them every year and put the year on it. And then um, she didn't make these cards, but she had, I believe it was her cousin or aunt, made these little cards. So we got cards. Oh, and then she got us this cup, this Tervis cup. So that was our first set of goodies. Our second set of goodies came from, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do here, and hopefully I won't forget anything, but I probably will. So sorry girls if I forget. Jackie, every year she stitches us a coaster so this came, this was one of the stitching girls from um, Cross Stitch Nation, the Plum Street, the little um, drum I showed you. So she made us each one of these. Then, I'm trying to think, I gotta make sure I keep things straight here and I probably won't, dang it. And then she also gets us, uh, needle minder every year so she got us this one that says stitch and then she got us each one of these little kind of trays um there we got that and then she got us this great little cup that has you know it has like fibers on it i'm sorry for the glare Trying to make this so it's not too glary. So we got that. And I think I think that was it from Jackie. I hope I didn't forget anything. If I do, I apologize. Um then Jill, another one of the stitching girls. Now 
she got us one of these. Uh, how great is that? A little theme, the coaster and this. Plus I got my drum. So we got this from Jill. She got us these great little scissors. And I want to say these came from Primitive Hair. I know when they came out, I think there was only so many. And she got us. She got us that. Thanks, Jill. Oh, I need to say thanks, Lori, for all the goodies that she gave us. And then, and thanks, Jackie. And then, uh, this started out, um, Jill got us each one of these plastic containers with our name on it with a needle. How cute is that? So we get that, and then inside... Now, if I can open the dang thing, because, oh, it is open. She got us a piece of felt, a little felt, for finishing things. She, every year, stitches us a little floss tag. How cute is that little thing? Um, she got us this little cute little tchotchke. I don't know where I'm going to put this yet, but this little cute sewing the old standby tacky tacky glue you can always use that um she also got us this spatula from tupperware she said that there was a big thing on facebook i guess earlier in the year to use this to stuff your pillows i didn't see that a couple of little measuring devices scissor earrings Got a pair of them. Um, and then I had a couple scissor charms like this. I put little lobster claws on there so that we could put them on our project bags because I, I'm sorry, I gotta pick stuff up. I always make project bags, of course. Now, my good friend Lori had, um, purchased the fabric so keeping with the theme we got the stitch in the red got the stitch in the black and then this is the inside of the project bag and then we each got our, our initial I guess Lori gave us we each got an initial I believe Lori gave us those so I gave this project bag. I made the project bags. So I gave that and then I always throw in some tissues because I can. Then I found these cute Joann's was clearancing these out. These little notepads. So there's this. There were these note cards. I thought they were so darn cute. And then um a notepad like this. Those were so hang dang cute. Um, so got that. I think that. Oh, and the other thing I made too. We we had gotten a pillow from Jackie one year, many retreats ago, and so this fabric that says stitch on it. I always make the pillow covering for it. So. Whatever our theme is, you know, last year, like I said, was birdhouses. We had birdhouses last year. So I make this pillow case every year for our goodies. <clears throat> um, I think, oh, I also gave this little box it, something I had on. I had a little sample of that. I had a floss ring. I did buy, um, sorry, I keep saying, um, don't want to do that. This little waxy looks like a um, spool of thread and this little tube with some needles in it. So that was all the goodies that I had given. So it was a really, I mean, look at all the goodies we got. Lots of great goodies. And we had a really good time. I started stitching, I'll show you something I stitched on. I started stitching this during retreat. 
and I did, I got it finished. So there, and there it is. And Jackie and I are stitching this for each other. And I think next Friday we're going to have a finishing day. So we're going to finish up our spools, get our stitching on there, and then make the little, the little pin cushion that goes on the top because we've got that too. Here's the, here's the fabric for my pin cushion. So I did start and finish that during retreat. The other thing I stitched on during retreat because, you know, I'm going on retreat and next month to um, Dying to Stitch, Plum Street Sampler she's going to be there so i've decided i needed to stitch a few things that i think i'm going to take with i don't know about this one yet but i did start and finish this this is sampler house three and i stitched it on 36 count fabric i dyed and i just used dmc flosses that was one thing that, that so those were the two things I stitched during retreat I don't think I stitched on anything else although I did dye some fabric during retreat I'm kind of veering off of my conversation here because I got a couple more Plum Street so I dyed this 36 count I wanted to I wanted it to look like um can't think of the name of it now doubloon doubloon I want it to look like that so I, it's kind of hard to see, I think. I stitched it. Oh, I think it came out really, or I mean, I stitched it. I dyed it. So I think that turned out pretty good. I want to stitch the Apostles' Creed by Heartstring Samplery on that piece. So we'll see if that happens. Something else that I finished since my last video, um, and again, because I'm going to the Plum Street Retreat, is I did this Mariner's Drum. So here's the top. Uh, here's the bottom. And here, let's start this way and go this way. So here's my drum. I'm kind of getting addicted and this right here is so dang cute this mirror of her face this is all done over one which is kind of a pain in the butt but how cute is that so there's that so this coming with me and then I also did the little pillows except I'm not really sure yet how I'm going to finish this off but I don't know if I'm going to do pillows or if I'm going to stay with my drum theme. I'm on a drum theme kick that I seem to be obsessive about things. And right now, it seems to be drums. So those are a couple things that I have finished since my last video. Um, the next thing I have... I got some, I meant to talk about this particular piece, some stash I acquired. We were at Stitchville, my friend Jackie and I were there a couple weeks ago. Well, right, right before my last video. So we were there and I bought some things. But when we were there, the gal, um, I believe her name is Chrisanne, Chrisanne Tellen, she, the designer, was there. She happened to be in the shop while we were there, and the gal that was working that day at the shop introduced us to her, and this is one of her pieces. And I know that um, Reflections, Framing and Stitching, Julie had talked about her designs, and she probably got, I'm not sure if it's this one or another one that's a model. She talked about her Christmas designs. So I wanted to talk about that. Forgot in my last video because that's what I do. And 
Another thing I was going to talk about is the these little notepads and things that I'd gotten from Joann's. I was at the quilt store last week. At the beginning of this week, I, we, I, there's a quilt shop up going on, and so my friend and I went, and I found this cute, cute fabric. It goes with those note cards. Here's the inside. So, of course, I had to buy some and make and make a bag because I and I also found these um little note you know note card no not note cards but just a writing pad so I had to have that and there was one other thing sorry I got these too because they're again like I told you I get up I get obsessed with things. I see something and then I obsess over it and have to have it. So those were a few of my haul acquisitions, dash acquisitions, whatever. I also ordered from 123 Stitch a couple of things. I got this chart. thought that was darn cute. I think I talked about in my last video my obsessions now with bees, all things bees, patterns, um, fabrics, there's lots of fabrics so I'm making lots of bee bags. I also got this pattern, another bee pattern is this one this and I'm wondering that the book of spells that pattern looks like it's kind of done in the same vein as this one and I'm really wondering if I could turn this into a book the book of spells I mean I think I can make it I would just be curious. McKenna, I would be curious to know what the instructions say on how to finish that. If it does tell you how to finish it into a book, I would be really interested to know because I guess I should have looked in the inside of this. Maybe this does tell you too, but I thought that would be really cool to finish it off in book form. This pattern, I bought this pattern because my daughter requested it which is a very cute pattern. So, what else did I have that I wanted to show? Oh, I did acquire this too. My, another one of my stitching cronies who kind of crashed our, crashed our party. Chris came and crashed our party, which was great. We don't see her very much, so she came and stitched with us for a while. And I had been with her like a week or two beforehand. A bunch of us got together at our local grocery store, the Byerly's here, and um, we stitched for a whole day. They let you, you don't have to pay anything, you can have this room, it's really a nice room, you just have to, you can't, you have to buy food there, which is no problem, they have quite a selection of food. So she got this kit, and I wish I could show you, she stitched this all over one, so she didn't use this kit. So. I acquired it from her. I purchased it from her. She was very kind and sold me the kit for a little bit of a discount. That was very nice. Thanks, Chris. That was great. So I'm going to stitch that sometime. Who knows when? I have way too much to do. The other thing I have worked on, been working on, haven't been working on it enough, was um, the Brenda Gervais Schoolhouse series. This, Michelle, farm girl, she's got this done, good girl. Me, not so much. Where is my piece? Here's my progress. It's very sad. Very sad progress. 
But of course, since I was doing this and it's a series, I had to find some kind of a bag. Here's the inside. But look at this is um, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know if that's really schoolhouse, but a schoolhouse cabin old Little House on the Prairie-ish. Had to have that. So, if anybody's interested, I think I have two bags left. I, I did sell, I did sell a hand, a couple, about three, um, for people who are doing this series. So if you're interested, you can contact me through my Facebook page, Made by Mama Joan, or um, on Instagram, Made by Mama Joan. The other thing I did, I've started making some more bags, some new bags. This is a fall bag. I just put it up on my, I just posted on Instagram. Look at the cute words on the inside. I thought this was really a very cute bag. I think right now I have two of these left. Although if there's a big enough interest, I surely could probably get some more fabric. So just an FYI. And while the Minnesota shop hop is going on, they always have Minnesota themed fabric every year. And I always try to buy some fabric to make myself some bags because I that's what I like to do with the bags. So it, the fabric this year, not so hot. That's the inside. And this is the outside. Now, I, I've got a few more I, pieces of fabric I still have to make. A couple more bags, but I don't know. Just looking for an opinion on what people think about these bags because there's a little bee right here. So that fits in with my bee theme, which I'm really happy about. And I will be making more bee bags because I got some more fabric. And, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh, one more thing that I acquired this thread, this thread keep, and a matching needle minder. How dang cute is that? I'm not really into needle minders that much, but I had to have these because they were set. So I think, oh, one other thing, I have my reach, I, my whole couch is full of stuff is I picked up this light. Oh, look at how great that light. It's got four different levels. It's an art light. It's a new art light and it has a USB in the back so you can plug in your phone or your um, iPod or I don't know your laptop if you I'm hoping that this is going to be a really good travel light. I'm going to, I plan on taking it with me when I go to Virginia to the retreat in September. Um, but this was, and it was half off, it was 30 bucks. And if you're really lucky and you can get it when there's a 20% off of everything, even sale stuff, you know, that's not a bad price for a little travel light. So highly recommend it because like I said look at how it's very bright I loved it I used it at our little retreat here and I have a lot of lights but I I just PSA I like that for a traveling I, I think I'm gonna like it as for a traveling light I think it'll be a really cool traveling light so I think that is everything Again, I want to thank people who watch. Um, I'm, go I'm going to try to work on not saying um. Apparently it's not working. I wanted to say thanks for subscribing. When I, I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, kind of getting there slowly, but I don't do a lot of videos, so you know, it is what it is. Um, I think I'm going to do a drawing. Not sure what yet. Maybe maybe a bag or a set or something on that order so i want to thank people for watching for subscribing for listening i have no idea sometimes why people want to listen to this i do i do want to say i would have to agree i just watched um paulette plum street sampler 
talk about doing these videos. I still have a hard time. This is probably number 11. I don't like talking by myself. I really need my daughter who started me on this and then moved to Virginia. Or actually she moved to Pensacola and now she's living in North Carolina. Uh, so that it's been hard. It, it's just hard for me to do this. So I feel everybody's pain. I haven't, I feel like I haven't really got this set up very well yet. I have a hard time uploading and tweaking it and editing and wah, wah, wah. Enough first world problems. So I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend since it's Friday. Mine has been pretty good. I've been really busy sewing project bags. And um, yeah, I think that's that's it. So let's see how successful I am at editing and uploading. And hopefully I'll be able to do another one sooner than... I'd like to get on a, like a two-week schedule, but not sure that's going to happen either. And next time I will again talk about some more of my smalls because I have tons and tons of smalls. So thanks again. And we'll see you later. Bye.